Friends, uh, my name is Rohit and uh, today I will give you a demonstration of an insulation tester. So uh, here is here it is. Uh, that's an insulation tester and that's an instruction manual. This is an ins uh, insulation tester of Sigma and the model number is SG1040. Uh, so let's see we have taken out the instrument and there is the uh, operation manual. Uh, lead sets are missing. Let's see where the lead sets are. So I'm opening this instrument. Okay, there it is. Uh, so uh, it's a compact unit, and uh, the lead sets are already on incorporated uh, in uh, the total uh, cabinet of the instrument, and uh, it's perfectly compact side instrument. Uh, let's see the specification of it, and also the brand name Sigma and SG1040 is already written over here so uh, let's see uh, what the specification of this instrument is uh, so here there's the small sticker also uh, so let me focus this for you um, okay uh, so here the specification it is having three voltages ranges is uh, 250 volt 500 volts and 1000 volts and uh, the total capacity of 200 volt uh, 250 volt DC is uh, 400 mega ohm, uh, 500 volt DC is 4 giga ohm, it means 40,000, uh, 4,000 mega ohm, 1 giga ohm is equal to 1,000 giga, 1,000 uh, mega ohm, so uh, it is 4,000 mega ohm, and uh, for 1,000 volt DC, the total range is 40,000 mega ohms, uh, it is up to 40 giga ohm, the result will be shown on the giga ohm on the display panel. So uh, let's see uh, what the instrument is having. Uh, here are the uh, three different voltages, and here are the lead set provided with the instrument. Lead sets is fine, pretty good, pretty decent, and heavy duty lead set cables are provided with the instrument. Uh, here's an, another lead set, and they have provided a clocolite clips also. Uh, you can incorporate with this lead sets. Uh, on the work part and uh, if you want to use that crocodile clip then you can use it like that and they have already uh, they have also provided the cable uh, you can see uh, the here are the two parts where you can put this cable and you can use it in the field so I will give you a good uh, quick demonstration of this instrument and uh, will also be demonstrating each and e every part of this insulation tester that how to use this instrument uh, on the mega ohm box and also on a uh, on your on your sample also i'm having one transformer with me today and i will be demonstrating uh, how to uh, check the uh, insulation of that transformer uh, and uh, give you the what what sort of results it is giving it to you you can use this instrument uh, on different application like cables uh, like transformers on any of your sample which needs uh, needs to be checking the insulation testing of it so uh, let's start with it so uh, let's start the demonstration of this instrument so now i will uh, demonstrate you how to use this mega ohm box with the help of this insulation tester um, this is having all the uh, values uh, which by which you can uh, check uh, that the insulation tester is working or not I always recommend to the people that you should always buy a mega ohm box when you are buying uh, or purchasing an insulation tester or million mega ohm meter because for uh, whenever you will be testing any of your samples uh, with this insulation tester you must be knowing that the instrument is working fine or not it is giving you the desired results or not so here are the standard uh, values put it into this uh, mega ohm box and this also mega ohm box is provided by sigma people only and uh, i will give you a quick overview that how to use this mega ohm box with the help of this um, insulation tester and uh, how uh, this ins insulation tester being used with the help of uh, this uh, mega ohm box so here we are we have to put uh, these two lead sets into l and e only the outermost part of this and uh, then you'll be uh, testing with the uh, seeing that what is the uh, results are so i have put the samples at two mega ohm it is having five values mega ohm box uh, two mega ohm 20 mega ohm 200 mega ohm two giga ohm 
एंड ट्वेंटी गीगा ओम एंड टू गीगा ओम मीन्स टू थाउजेंड मेगा ओम्स एंड ट्वेंटी गीगा ओम मीन्स ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड मेगा ओम सो हेयर वी गो एंड देर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इट एंड वी हैव टू प्रेस दिस रेड कलर बटन एंड देन द टेस्टिंग विल बी स्टार्टेड लेट सी नाउ यू कैन सी that it is showing uh, 532 volts the voltage is coming out and uh, the result is 2.031 mega ohm <clears throat> so the results are uh, pretty good when we put into it uh, let's see i guess you can see it now and i'm changing the value to 20 mega ohm yes it's showing 19.77 the results are good now we put into 200 mega ohm you can see it's showing 201.2 the results are okay fine and with an accuracy the accuracy of this instrument is around 3% so now it is 2 giga ohm and the results are uh, 1.993 which is pretty good and the boxes uh it's as compared to the box the values are good and now i'll be going to the higher range of it it is 20 giga ohm uh, in it, the result uh, the range of uh, this range uh, is uh, is up to 4 mega ohm only 4 uh, uh, giga ohm only means up to 4000 mega ohm you can measure up to that uh, this range now i'll be shifting it to the higher range where we can measure the last value of this mega ohm box that is 20000 mega ohm uh, let's see what the results are there so the values are increasing this is showing around 17 mega ohm 17 giga ohm and the range is uh, still uh the results are still increasing and increasing it's due uh, uh you must be knowing that this is a heavy value so the results of insulation should always be uh told after 1 minute and should be measured after 1 minute only then then you can uh, see what is the exact range of your insulation so it is pretty under uh, the testing part the pretty uh, results are pretty decent uh, of this 20 uh, giga ohm so by this uh, you can uh, you must be knowing that how to use this mega ohm box and now your instrument is uh, ready to use uh, this insulation tester is ready to use and uh, now you can use and connect your samples with it and see uh, what sort of the results we are getting we demonstrating uh, this insulation tester and showing you the uh, what is the result of this transformer i am having this transformer and uh, let's see what is the result it is showing uh, of uh, uh, the transformer and uh, let's see uh, again let's be uh, i'm having this lead set with me uh, i'm having this crocodile lead set with me and one we have to put it to the body part and another we have to put it onto uh, the primary section of this uh, transformer do make the connection form otherwise uh, the reading of this uh, sample will be not constant and will be uh, increasing or decreasing so and do uh, do take some precaution while measuring your sample always put your sample onto a wooden plank or to a rubber sheet do remember one thing always put your sample onto the rubber mat or the or to the wooden sheet uh, wooden plank or to the rubber sheet uh, cause uh, it, there won't be any leakage of it and uh, you won't be getting any short, any sort of a uh, short circuit or something uh, with your body or something cause uh, it's an a perfectly insulated things uh, which are uh, provided uh, which should be keeping uh, in mind while testing this uh, insulation of this of your any of your samples and also do remember kindly do not short both the two terminals uh, as some of the peoples are always having uh, a habit of uh, shorting these two terminals and uh, 
just wanted to see uh, the zero it is auto zero uh, these instruments these uh, digital instruments are always having auto zero facility you don't have to see the zero in it and in into the analog insulation tester the battery operated analog insulation tester you can set the zero or you can sh check the zero while shorting both the two terminals uh, if you will be doing the same thing into this you will be damaging the protection of this instrument i had already opened this instrument uh, the pcb the circuit is pretty strong and pretty decent they have already provided a fuse into it and uh, the fuse is uh, up to some shorting only so the precaution the uh, the stability of the circuit is good but you have to always be keep in mind that you don't have to short both the two terminals so here we go uh, and uh, we'll be testing uh, the results onto 500 volts i have already connected you can see it uh, right there and let's see the results are this uh, red led is again on and it is showing ol uh, means the results are more as compared to this range uh, the 500 volts the results uh, it can check is in inside the range of 4 giga ohm so the results are more it is showing ol if the results are in between it will be showing you the values if the result is more than the as as to the range it will be showing you ol if there will be any shorting or uh, of your sample it will be showing err okay do remember these things uh, if the results are more it will be showing ol if the, if the results are in between that range it will be giving you the values if the results uh, if your sample is short enough it will be showing ERR there are three uh, points the three buttons also provided uh, by this you can uh, you can press and the uh, insulation will be started up the voltage always come from these two points so uh, they have provided a button by when will you be pressing that button then the voltage will be out uh, this this is an uh, another button which uh, is, it is showing dh and bl uh, dh and bl means uh, data hold and backlight if you be uh, pressing this button then you can see that uh, there's a hold written onto it uh, the readings will be hold and uh, if you press it for around uh, one to two seconds uh, it will be showing uh, the blue backlight will be on it is pretty decent if you're working on a low light environment then uh, uh, it will uh, give you a, uh, a good idea of what the results are there so i'll be turning off that light so that uh, you can see uh, the results what are there and there is an, another button the select button uh, you can just see that uh, when i press that select button this one minute is already coming I guess, I guess now you can see I I'll be doing some uh, focus also onto it okay now you can see that it is showing one minute so uh, when you will pressing this uh, select button it is having a timer facility of it they uh, Sigma people have provided a timer facility into uh, this instrument also but when you will be pressing that select button there will be a timer facility 1 minute, 2 minute and 10 minute uh, cause the insulation of any sample to be uh, tested the actual results are uh, after uh, 1 minute so they have provided an inbuilt timer facility also by pressing that thing you can uh, see uh, you can start up the timer and see what the results are there so let's start with it uh, I'll be increasing the range of uh, this uh, meter and it is showing you uh, 1000 uh, volt is coming and it is the results you can see the results were more than uh, 4000 mega ohm so there you can see the results are around uh, 22 uh, giga ohm 22.6 the results are increasing and increasing I had already told you the insulation we measure 
it is after one minute so the sample is charging up and uh, so the results are increasing so here you can see uh, what the results are there it says it is around 25 giga ohm the results is pretty decent of the sample uh, when i have purchased this sample from the manufacturer uh, they have told me that the results are uh, as compared uh, the charts which were uh, which were given to them by the authority it always they always told us that the results should be more than 1000 mega ohm the results are pretty fine it is on to giga ohm so uh, let's see uh, what is the secondary part of uh, the samples results are there so I, here I'll be connecting you the secondary part and let's see uh, what the results are there and now I'll be using the select button and when you'll be pressing the red button the insulation testing will be start automatically here you can see that the voltage is there and the results they, they are showing is increasing and increasing let's uh, wait for some second the results will be stabilized so the results are now in increased and uh, the results are around 27 giga ohm so uh, the secondary uh, leads uh, the secondary part of this transformer is having more insulation as compared to the primary part uh, so the results are pretty good of the sample and now you can press the select button again the reading will be hold and now you can see and you can write it down also that the author results are there so here is the uh, simple procedure that how to use this instrument do remember two three points only uh, my friends that uh, uh, do not short both the two terminals your sample should always be put on a rubber sheet or a wooden plank so that uh, the you get your sample get proper insulation uh, also they have provided uh, some uh, different testing of this multi uh, multimeter section is also there in this instrument uh, it is having uh, continuity resistance and diode checking capacitance frequency voltage dc voltage ac with frequency and milliampere but i suggest you that you should go ahead to buy this instrument uh, but for insulation only and for these uh, multimeter pass you can um, buy uh, any other multimeter of there are various brands available in the market so it depends on you how uh, where, what, you, what you want to buy so uh, that's it for today this is a, a normal uh, demonstration of this uh, insulation tester um, sigma make and the model is uh, sg1040 uh, so how do you like my video uh, do write it down to me do write it on the comment section part uh, if you have any doubt and do like and uh, subscribe my channel also and I'll be giving you uh, coming up with some more instruments for you and if you want to uh, if you want that I should go for, for a specific brand or some uh, different uh, meters do write it down onto the comment section part I will do it as soon as possible Thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video.